Hello there everyone. Well today what I'm going to be doing is uh, performing a, I guess performing, huh? This isn't performing. This is my job. Anyway, um, got a blown airbag here and the seat uh, that a, a body shop, they dropped it off to me last night. So as part of my working day, I'm going to put this back together for them and you get to see how it's done. They were kind enough to remove this from the vehicle for me. So I guess I didn't have to do it. So that makes it faster and quicker for us too. So technique number 382 here is when you go to take off the hog rings, I already took some off because I started working before I thought about, hey, maybe I should make a video about this. So anyway, technique, it's wherever there's a hog ring, I'll take a marker, a sharpie, and I'll mark where the hog ring is. You can see right there, each one. So I marked every one. The reason is so that way when you go to put the seat back together again, you know exactly where the anchor point is for the hog ring. And there's no guessing. So we don't like guessing. We like to know for sure. It saves a lot of time. So next time I go to put the hog ring on, I just go right into that area. So I'm going to continue removing hog rings. So grab my Sharpie. Okay, I can see that there's one right here, one right here, one right here. These are coming off. So this is technique number 532. With technique number 532, removing hog rings. I'll just take a pair of dikes like this. And what the technique is, is when you grab it, you twist it clockwise. When you twist it clockwise, it comes off so easy. I'll fix the damaged foam. Use the right glue, which is the contact adhesive, not the stuff that comes in a can. It sounds like a three man super something or other. Don't use that one. Okay, we let that dry for a few minutes before putting it back together. That's why they call it contact adhesive. Put it back together and it contacts very well. Okay, so that's it for the foam repair. So this here is what it's supposed to look like on the other side. So what I did earlier is I finished removing all the threads, all the top thread here that used to be there. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew these two back together and then I have to run a new top thread. So that way it looks like this and it looks like nothing ever happened. That's our goal here. So remember our goal is to make it look like nothing ever happened, like nobody will ever notice. Always lock your stitch. Next is the top stitch. Okay, you can see we got our first stitch here. So now we got to do it the top stitch here. So what we need to do is find out what size stitch this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a stitch over it, over the existing stitch and see if the size matches. 
I'm going to estimate that it's a five, size five, set my machine. Now, let's check it out. Yeah, that looks like that's it. Just maybe, uh, yeah, I would say that's it. Got lucky the first time. So now, I'm just gonna remove that stitch. Now just pull on the bottom thread, pull that out. There you go. So that, my friends, you just witnessed was technique number 732 on how to remove that stitch. Okay, so now we're ready to do the top stitch. So this trick, to doing this top stitch for this seat that has a blown airbag is we're not going to fold over all the materials like the, like a normal top stitch. We're not going to fold these all under and then do the top stitch. Because it's an airbag, what we need to do is we need to separate the two bottoms here as though we're doing a French stitch, but we're only doing one side. And there we are. So keep in mind that on fabric like this, it's so much easier than uh, if it was vinyl sides or leather on the surface here. Um, in that case, leather and vinyl, you have to hit the needle back into the same holes again. So that's a little bit more for an advanced class. This is just uh, everybody's learning class or trying to improve your technique class. So anyway, if you could just imagine there being existing holes there and you have to put the needle into each hole again. Same as original. So now all I've got to do is just close up the end here. Oh, where did it go? Right here. Just close up that end real fast, two minutes. And then it's ready to install again. And for those of you that are new to this and you don't know, these are the hog ring pliers. And these are the hog rings. Hog ring pliers for the hog rings. And now you can see where the Sharpie lines come in handy. Now you know exactly where to put those hog rings. Ethel, put your clothes on. There we go. Just like that. We know that this hog ring goes right there. Uh, 
and we're going to do this everywhere there needs to be a hot rod. So there we are my friend, we are um, got it handled and that's exactly how it's done. Uh, I hope that this video has been helpful to uh, any of you. Um, if it was, please hit that like button and do me a favor and subscribe to my new channel, help my channel grow. Um, I, make, I do something different in my shop here every day, so I'm always making new videos. So I am always include my techniques that I did I've, I've, that I've developed over 41 years of uh, doing this kind of work. And now that it's the end of my nearing the end of my career, I thought I'd share these techniques with you uh, to the younger generation people that are coming up now. So uh, if you have any comments, feel free to give a comment. And until next time, we'll see ya.